We're here for a Cleantex week to try to connect Swiss companies, startups with Indian uh, companies to try to make a long-term relationship and make technical transfer from Switzerland to India to try to uh, introduce uh, new technologies here, uh, bring prices down and uh, make impact for India and for Switzerland with new technologies at reasonable prices. Cleantech Week India is initiated by Swiss Network in India. This project was powered by Swiss Federal Office of Energy. Seven researchers and seven startups and innovative companies came as delegation to India to explore possible partnerships with India industry and academia. I am hopeful of many positive outcomes from this week and also hope for that there are more long-term relationships between Swiss and Indian clean energy players in energy storage, battery manufacturing, electric vehicle and other areas where both the countries feel that there is a need of collaboration. Why uh, Switzerland has uh, excellency in technology? It goes a long way back. We have uh, very strict regulations in terms of uh, air and uh, water pollutions. And uh, Switzerland started 50 years ago into looking into that technology and developed a lot of uh, um, academic research, but also technology companies. We managed to develop uh, technology who are uh, at the cutting edge. But we have uh, difficulties getting the prices down because of market volume and because of high price uh, level. So if we want to have uh, technology in Switzerland at reasonable prices, we have to work with other countries who have bigger volumes and are more price sensitive. We are developing a low-cost, non-toxic, affordable, consumable-based iron batteries for off-grid communities uh, lacking electricity access. So this can be used for lighting and for charging. And today, for lighting, for, for people uh, lacking electricity access, they often use still uh, kerosene lamps or um, torches with alkane batteries or solar lamps. Um, kerosene lamps is bad for health. It's equivalent of smoking two packs of cigarettes per day. Um, alkaline batteries is really expensive. We bring um, clean, um, and affordable, uh, easy to use uh, lighting system so people can put those low cost iron consumables in, in, in the product and they will get light um, at, a, at a better price to what they're paying now and completely uh, clean solutions. Renewable energies are today a really great opportunity for uh, the built environment, especially solar energy and photovoltaics. Uh, represent uh, uh, the possibility to make building active. Not only solar roof, but also facades uh, can uh, uh, really offer the possibility to join uh, energy production with uh, uh, high statics and architecture. So the construction field uh, will have for next years and decades this challenge to really make building sustainable and active by joining energy efficiency, renewable energy production and architecture. When it comes to uh, social responsibility, I think it's uh, renewable energies and also efficiency is a very important uh, point. And you can look it at it at uh, two ways. Uh, in terms of CO2 emissions, that's the main factor of uh, global warming and when you see what causes global warming for a lot, uh, or for a huge parts of the population in terms of, uh, of, uh, of uh, temperature but also of rising of the oceans, then uh, it's, it's clear that we have to go in direction of a carbon-free uh, society. So I think not only in terms of, of uh, social responsibility but again also in terms of business if you are looking the whole way, then you are better off investing in renewable energy and efficiency than not.